By the numbers, Justin Smoke might be the worst first baseman in the last 30 years. That doesn't feel right. It doesn't sound right. I don't believe it. However, our friend Dave Cameron of USS Mariner, he's got a long blog out. We had him on the air, so we had a podcast too at the page. Pointed out that over the last 30 years, in terms of offensive production, uh, for players that have played at least uh, enough to have 1,000 at-bats, through age 25, so mm -hmm. that, that winds up being 55 guys over the last 30 years who had over a thousand at bats in the middle of their, their 25th year of that season. Uh, Justin Smoke has the worst batting average, worst offensive production of any of them. Dave Cameron's line is, it's enough of a, of a sample set that you know this is not your answer at first base. I know you beg to differ. I do differ, and that's because of what last year was, and that was a very inconsistent, jagged year for him. He was in and out of the lineup for various reasons. Two thumb injuries, got hit in the face with the ball, was dealing with his father's illness throughout the season, which ultimately resulted in his father passing away. So to pretend none of that had any impact on what the final numbers of last year were, to me, is ridiculous. You can't just pretend that year was normal like any other year and he just was inconsistent. It makes no sense to me. So if you want to you want to bunch those numbers in, you've got to allow for how he was impacted. Now this year, this is a baseball year. As far as we know, all he's dealing with was, was the hamstring earlier, earlier in the year and he's having a terrible year. I'm not trying to make a case that he's having a great year or that he's going to be great. He may very well be a bust, but last year was almost half of his total. If you look at the number of at-bats, that's almost half of the numbers that Dave is using to make his case. And I'm saying you've got to kind of throw those away. The good and the bad, you got to throw it away because of everything that took place last year. That's very unique. It's not baseball circumstance. It was a lot of everything else going on. Well, but some of it was baseball. You know, the dad stuff, of course, is different. Uh, getting injured during well, the course of yeah, playing okay, is getting injured during the course of playing. Right, right, right. There were 55 other guys. We don't know how many of them they went through. I, I think we can both agree that he has not been what they thought he would no, be. No, not at all. Up until not this point. And like I said, he may end up being a bust. I'm not yeah. saying he's not. He's definitely trending the wrong way. But for me, I just get to the point where I'm saying, all right, it's it's too early to just say this is who he is this point forward. You got to see him the rest of the season. If the rest of the season is is well, like this is, then you're going, all right. That's where this, I'm at. This is a full year uninterrupted by family tragedy or anything like that happening. This this is a better representation of who he is as a player. Hey, if he gets hurt, that winds up being a factor too. As our friend right. Rock Heward will tell you, staying healthy is a part of playing the game. I mean, you do have to be healthy. But uh, my inclination is exactly that. He's got 85 games to change perceptions. He's got 85 games uh, to convince you that in fact he is going in the right direction. He doesn't have to hit 500. I mean, he doesn't have to hit 35 home runs in the half of the season. It's not necessary. Improvement is a swing at better pitches is hitting. Line drives, my God, the most damning stat without question that Dave Cameron used is that Washington Nationals pitcher Steven Strasburg has more doubles than Justin Smoke has. Yeah, but Smoke has more home runs than Strasburg. A very thin read you're holding on to there, Bobby. <laughs> so obviously, I mean, you just, I just need to see Justin Smoke hit the ball hard. I mean, can, can it be that simple? Uh, results and everything will come, but in my opinion, he's got 85 games to show he can be the man in this league or the Mariners are going to have to look elsewhere.